Hello, it's me and welcome back to the Bodybuilding Do It Right channel and welcome to our series on how to build big arms with cable superset exercises. This is part 3 of 4 so you can check out our other videos in this series. Here, yeah. in this part, we will be looking at how to use the ropes also, doing two exercises, supersetting on two exercises, one for biceps, one for triceps, yeah. So we'll be doing the rope curls, okay, the rope hammer curls, which will be hitting more of the outer and brachialis, okay, brachialis in the middle here, in between the triceps and the biceps, giving you that big pump you get around here, okay, and the rope pull downs. Now, the thing with the rope pull downs is, is that it's going to hit the outer head also, okay, it's going to hit the outer head and then the hammer would hit the middle and this other outer head of the biceps. So we'll start with the curls. So to perform the curls, you want to hold on to the rope. I tend to hold it this way with my arm underneath it and then I grip on top of it this way. I hold it this way. I hold it this way. If you can hold this way, fair enough. But I want to hold this way okay and then things you should know you want to release the weight completely down you don't want to you don't want to stop in the way where your arm is a bit um act like act this way or bends this way you want to release it completely so that you stretch that muscle you're putting under tension okay research has it that the stretch position also um, incorporates a lot into the building process of the muscle okay so in a stretch position to begin with we chest out and pull the weights that way so you want to form that big V many a times people pull this way and then stop there just to go through a more contraction at the top on the biceps you want to pull it out that way okay pull it out that way okay so standing straight, standing straight, standing straight, we pull the weights, stretching out our arms and pull now to our sides, maximum contraction at the top. Hold it for about a second and release it slowly down, stretching the arm completely and pull, stretch completely and pull, stretch completely. And pull. Stretch completely and pull. Okay? You're gonna repeat this. Things you don't wanna do. You don't wanna do this. If the weights are too much, cut down the weight. Don't do some movements that will recruit or will recruit other muscles. Okay? Just focus on hitting that very muscle. So we'll look at it. straight after which you go to the rope pull down in the rope pull downs you're gonna grip onto it this way gripping onto the rope and push down just like the name says push down that way stretch it at the bottom and then slowly release it stretch it at the bottom slowly release it and again when you release it you want to form that v opposite to that on the bicep and form that v push down push down push down push down hold for about a second And as you can see here in my stance, I have a bit of a bend in my knee, okay? It helps to stabilize your body. A, little, a bit of a bend in my back, okay? 
and then my elbows are tucked into my side. You don't want to flare out your elbows and do this, no. You want to keep your elbows tucked in and push down. And combining these two, and your exercise is gonna, is gonna greatly affect your growth. Okay, see you. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed and learned something new today. If you have any questions or comments, kindly leave them in the comment section. But don't forget to hit the like and smash the subscribe button. See you later.